his drug kingpin in New Orleans. Oh, God, if you looked at me wrong, hallelujah, I dropped you right where you lay. Right where you stand. Amen. Oh, God. Hallelujah. I tell him, oh, God can save you. I don't care who you are. He can save you. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know how I know? A lot of folks still living by. That's how I know I'm saved. <laughs> Uh, you still living <laughs> Oh God Oh yeah I didn't wait oh, God. I ain't gonna tell you But some things I used to say I, I was Before the saints The old saints prayed for the old boy When he was walking down the streets of New Brunswick And he stopped in that old sanctified church I was on my way to the projects To get some drugs And a big leg woman I'm gonna put it just like that But God stopped me I was on my way, and he stopped me. I was on my way, and he stopped me. I heard him singing on about six of them on a Friday night. They were saying, come over here, the table is spread. Open up your doors, open up your mouth. Keep on praising it, keep on making noise. Somebody, God, come on, come on, send somebody. You're not just here to be here. You're not on a on this corner. It's strange. Pentecostal was on the corner. Your church is on the corner. You got waves coming this way. You got the people of devils coming this way. But once they hear the voice, they hear open up the doors and let them hear. When you leave on Sunday, go tell somebody. Preacher Bynes gave me a word. You need a word.
something in you right now. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. Even into their hearts. Here's the day coming. We got to get ready for it. I'm getting older. Sister Harris getting younger. I don't know what the deal is. With her. But I know I got more days on that side. I mean, less days on that than this side. Meaning that time is winding up. I said payday is coming. You remember that payday? Let me stop. I can't get straight. I, I, I can't. I just can't. I'll never get to my message. <laughs> I used to be right where you are, making all the noise in the church. Amen? Please know the Harris shut up. But I can't. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. I heard the pastor say something. You made us who we are. The Bible said we lies in stone. You can't, we can't, we can't help ourselves. Because you don't know. Just because just because you have an experience and you might not walk that walk. When God changes your heart from a stony heart to a fleshly heart. It's, it's in the heart, y'all. The issues of life flow through the heart. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, let me do that. Let me get some that. Pray, I pray. Y'all pray, I pray. Acknowledge him. Thank God for Pastor Vines and his lovely wife and his family. Oh, yeah, oh, I got, I got grandkids now. I'm just so happy. Thank you, Dave. Oh, God, that's my life. I didn't think I was going to get grandkids. Oh, my goodness. That's my. It just is crazy. <laughs> it just. I see them in me. We are heirs, enjoying heirs in Christ Jesus. Your inheritance is among the saints. Come on, Holy Spirit. Come on, Holy Ghost. Your inheritance is among the saints. Oh God, when you come together, fellowship together, fret not to assemble yourself together. As some did. Okay, come to church. I, I miss church. I miss seeing you. Oh God, I can't shout now. You know why. Oh God, but I can't wait a little while to be shouting. <laughs> amen, amen. But I got enough of my shouting before. Amen. Uh, come on, give God some glory. Come on and give God some glory. He want to hear. You overcome by your testimony. Huh? He wants you to in the congregation. If God do something for you, you ought to tell somebody. I heard Sister Harris was in service this morning and people don't understand iron shop and iron, but spirit works. If we know not what to pray for, but the spirit makes intercession. So the spirit is working all the time. We don't Jesus said, you don't know where you go with the wind blowing. He is describing how the Holy Ghost works. Amen. He said, after the Holy Ghost come upon you, you shall receive power. I said power. Everybody said power. I want you to know the power is to live right. The power is to treat your neighbor right. And oh God, you see all this See, the, the Bible also said there was a form of godliness. Yeah. But they denied the power thereof. Yeah. They had a form of godliness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Well, one of the things you better do is be real. Be real, be real with God. Yeah. Be real, church. Yes, Stop playing. Okay? Yes, God knows your heart. Yes, he Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes, you can't fool him. You can fool me. Right. Oh, God. You will know them by the fruits they have. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Victory Tabernacle, good to see you. I gotta go to the party for me. Love you. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back. Yeah. Right. 
We need yeah. young people that we hear. I'm entering now. I'm a trick audience, whatever y'all call it. Amen. I'm one of y'all now. All right, all right, all right. All right, Trent, brother. All right. We work this together in Christ Jesus. That's the book. Study your Bible. Bible reader. Read like the time ain't gone. Study. Because people are going to need to hear a word from you. You got to know. Yes. You got that? to know. Yes, the Holy Ghost, you got to have something in it to bring out. That's right. Amen. To teach you Amen. and guide you. Amen. But it has to be in there. Yes. So when you get the word and you start studying it, he reveals revelation comes. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right. That's right. That's true. Right. Amen. That's right. You see, they'll give you pastors after my own heart that will give you knowledge and understanding. So a spirit filled pastor. Amen. But guess what? One water, this Bible, one water, one plant, but God give the increase. Amen. So Amen. you sow that word. That's you just like the old preacher on dance. So I used to say, I just sow the word. All right. and that's the word. gonna fall on some good ground. Right. They're gonna fall on some bad ground. Let me see where I'm at now. To my lovely wife. All right. No, yeah. that makes it. How are you put up with me? You got to be saved. I know Sister Harris. <laughs> God didn't give me a special wife. Amen. Um, <laughs> can't give me a special wife. You know what I'm He could give me nobody. You know what I'm saying? Huh? All right. Yeah, there's something I just let him. <laughs> I know how to reel him in. You know what I'm saying? You know. Like uh, the incident the other day, sometimes your you spouse has got to let them know, hey, ain't the time. We gonna get them, okay. ain't the time. Uh, that's it. Right, ain't time right now. We gonna step up, we gonna step to you now. <laughs> that's the old G. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the burning bush. God is doing some things in Victory Tabernacle. It's time to pay attention. Tell you that it's time to pay attention. I'm always going to be around my Okay. 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 Uh, we go into the book of Exodus, the third chapter, 1 through 14. I'm not going to read you that quote when you get home. Read it. I'm not rushing because of the fact is that sometimes we got to use wisdom. Amen. And, um, we know in the, the text, in the story, Moses is, you don't know that we all have a purpose. Everybody say, I got a purpose. I got a purpose. You young men over there got a purpose. Okay. Where, where, where's my drum at? Y'all get off the drum. Y'all can't play. Where's my drum at? I, I, I want him on the drum. Oh, there you oh, I know where you want. I want him on the drum, baby. That's my boy there. You know what I'm saying? But, um, what, what I want you to understand, you have a purpose. Yes, Lord. God didn't save you. Who he qualifies, he justifies. Yeah. He qualifies. Yeah. It's predestined. Yes. Thank God. Thank God. If you live in, it ain't doing what God called you to do. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You're going to be judged by your works. Faith yeah. without works is dead. Oh God. That's right. Well, let me right. get you out of here. I got to hand you salt the car. Don't forget to speak enough. Oh. Amen. <laughs> In my studies, I found the book of Exodus written by Moses during a period of his life uh -huh. where God planned for Moses' life. And also is being revealed to him. Everybody said being revealed to him. Revealed. When you were going to things, it was not revealed yet. You didn't know your purpose. Yeah. You some of you don't even know your purpose yet. Right. But in sunrise times, I spoke to the prophets, Hebrews 1. But now I'm speaking through his son. All right. The spirit of God. Uh -huh. He said, hear what the spirit. Also, we had all against them churches and so many, uh, when John the Revelator, I got an all against you, but I, he begins to reveal to them what they were doing wrong. Amen. 
okay, then some were doing things good, but hey, I still got an odd against you. Okay, listen to where I'm going with this. But then after that, he said, hear what the Spirit says unto the church. So the church, when you're sitting here, God will reveal where he wants you to go and what to do. Come on, give God some praise. Right. In my, in your life, God's plan, just like Moses, 40 years, he was in a place, and had everything he wanted. 37 and 38 years, he was in a desert. You see what God does? Sometimes you have to, you gotta break him down. Yeah. Uh, Elder Harris, you got, you got, you think you all that. I gotta bring you to your knees where you have nothing. When I came to Jersey, I had 70 cents in my pocket. I'm gonna tell you one thing. Don't mess with God's people. Sister Slocum, some of you don't know her. I, I, I like to tell folk and warn folk, stop messing with God, folk. I was crazy enough. I had built my, this big, beautiful home in New Orleans. And this saint came to my house. And Sister Slova. And I said, get that woman out of my house. Because she was giving God the glory for all that. And I said, I built this house. Stuff <laughs> was crazy. I didn't know nothing about God. I spoke things I should not. Get out of my house. I built this beautiful home. I got this successful business. My family is prominent. My daddy owned nine dry cleaners. Broadway Joe, give him some praise. I went to all the Catholic schools and went over, had nothing but money. I'm better than you. You see the attitude? We, I say in my church, don't get the big head. When your head can't go through the door, you thank you so much. Humble yourself. Three things to get in the divine presence of God. Let me drop this in here. If my people, well, the first thing is humble yourself. You mean I got I could be praying that I didn't humble myself? See the order of God. I'm, but don't you hit that organ, bro? I ain't ready to. Humble yourself. Who do you think you are? Moses. <laughs> see, see what was in him? He was an Israelite. He didn't know it. Some of you don't even know that you were called from your mother's womb. All right. Like Jeremiah. Let me, get, let me finish this. Sometimes you can get the big head. Uh -huh. Our children get the big head. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> they don't need a killer. The Bible said, honor your father and mother. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. We ain't scared. She gonna get me out of here. Right. <laughs> and I'm with my friend. But the truth, she set you free. Amen. Yes. Listen to me. 40 years in the desert. One day, he was leading the flock. A lot of times when you're working for God, that's why I say work. If I say work out your, you got to work out your soul stuff. But sometimes God gives you revelation, things to do in the church. Right. I walked in here and talked about faith. The pastor gets some lights. He gets a scalp of uh, uh, one in the window. I'll put some that chance in there. Right. It just. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> you say, that's what I do. That's for gifts. You know what I'm saying? You know? On the back side of the desert, a place where Moses would meet his God. All right. 
Yes, Mount Sinai is a place where Moses' life and his destiny was revealed. Strange. He had to get him away from all that way to um, servants and the palace. A lot of times, God will break you down. Yes, he will. In order for you to see so he can raise you up. So you don't get the big head. Amen. Let you know, you never would have made it without me. You think you were going to make it. But if I take my hands off of you, if Pastor, he take his hand off of us, oh, we in trouble. That's why we pray. Lord, don't. <laughs> David, when David messed up, against thee only have I sinned. Yes, Lord. I acknowledge my transgressions. My sins are ever before me. He confessed. He didn't try to cover it. He did. But after he realized, hey, God saw me. He sent the prophet. He sent the preacher. I saw you. I saw you. Tell him, tell him I saw you. Even the prophet was dead. I said, you know who he is? You better go tell him I told you. I saw him. See, sometimes we think we God will expose you. I don't hear nobody. You don't want God to expose you. He exposed you at some times. <laughs> you be sitting in church wondering if they're coming in. <laughs> How many we look at YouTube, all these preachers exposed. Lord have mercy. You see what's happening in the body of Christ? People don't want to come to the church. I mean, I'm, in, I'm in Trenton. I'm not, I don't care who tells me or whatever. They got people in Trenton telling us the church are going in Christ is hypocrites. I do surveys. I'm a businessman. I, I got to know what's around me. What's happening, bro? Let me talk to you. Oh, man, I ain't fooling with you. I can tell you some things that happen in Trenton. A good name is better than moving. You're talking about witnessing and taking That's the right. community. All right. All right. Some things should not be named among the saints. Amen. That's right. I'm coming back anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great value. I'm coming come back anyway. Right. Let me in on that. Some places they, I can't go. They got a big thing around the whole state. We don't know how to take Elvin Harris. I don't care. Mount Sinai. Mount Moses encountered God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the bush. A strange place that the fire would not go out. Wait a minute. There's a formula. There's a process here. If your fire don't go out, People are going to wonder why after you go through trials and tribulations and everything, why are you still shouting? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Why haven't your fire went out? Uh -huh. They got, wait, what, what he got? Something with him? Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be like everybody else. Mm -hmm. But he praising God. That's right. He looking to the hills and coming yes. to the oh, He said, I thought my God will oh, yeah. deliver me. Yes, he will. Thank you. You see the difference? You see the mindset? So as a man thinketh, so is he. You got to change that. That's right. I'm more than a conqueror. How do you see me now? Take another look. Jesus tells the man, as he's been like, now you see me in this that you even got to take another look. Right. Take another look at your life. Take another look at your ministry. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Who are you to be so set? God may move you from here to there. Right. You tell God you do. And then when he tells you, because you don't understand it, just trust him. All right. yeah. He may move you to the desert. Mm. That's right. But he wants you to Recognize. Right. 
if he would have never met the young lady, he knew he was lonely. The little girl come up there, uh -huh. I'm paraphrasing, uh -huh. he saw her. Then she introduced him, but God put the woman in. Right. I ain't talking about you married men. I'm talking about you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. But he used the woman to introduce him, and he found where he's supposed to be around his people. Some of our children, they can go out, but they don't belong out there. All right. Amen. That's right. That's so true. They ain't going to find nothing out there, but look at the problem. What's the Y'all understand, I just, I hear God speaking, and I'm not just joking, and I just move. Line, Isaiah 28, line upon line, three separate problems. Hear little or dare little. Amen. What happens is God begins to tell you, because everybody in here needs something. Yeah. So if you keep your ears hearing, you're going to get something. He'll find you. He knows what you need. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Everybody need a word. Yes. Right. Everybody need a brain word. That's right. The logos word, yeah. I understand that. But the rain word. Uh -huh. yes, Moses and common God. Some believers in Christ, the body of Christ, we must realize something. Is that God knows when and where to find you. Yes. All right. Did you find Crazy Jonah? Oh, Did you find Crazy Pastor Bynes? Oh, <laughs> he put you in a place where he could talk to you. Amen. <laughs> I've been there. Amen. I had nothing to do. <laughs> I ain't gonna get it to that. I was, when I was in there, he was able to get and I had no distractions. He put me there for a reason. Amen. <laughs> and I've always said, no, the police put me there. No, they didn't. <laughs> Shepherd out here, and hundreds of sheep. 
They know his voice. That's right. Jesus is our shepherd. That's right. That's right. He leads us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk to the valley in the shadow of death, I'll feel no evil. Yes, <laughs> he prepares a table in the presence of my enemies. Yes, <laughs> Folk that don't want to see me eat. All right. <laughs> I'm still going to eat y'all. Right. <laughs> don't I look like I lost a meal? <laughs> Give God some glory. The devil may say one thing, say one thing, meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. He'll switch that thing. He'll turn it around when you come out with a testimony. Ooh, my sheep, I hear my voice. And a stranger, he will not. John 15 and 16. He had not chosen me. Get it right, get it right. You already thinking that you was all this and that. The book said, I ain't gonna like I ain't all you. I'll go by what the book said. I'll give it to you. The Bible is right. You remember that? The Bible is right. Somebody wrong. The Bible is right. It's right, it's right. <laughs> they used to say Lee Henry is wrong. <laughs> they changed the word. But uh, yes, I was wrong. Because the Bible is right. It got the man said. God said it, I believe it. I don't hear nothing else. He ain't in here. He ain't in here, don't. Ain't it here? Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. That ye should go forth and bring forth fruit. Wow. I just hit a home run. I just, oh my God. Oh, help us, Lord. You didn't, I ordained you. Even Jeremiah, I'm going to get to it. I knew you. When he was in your mother's womb. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Woo. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, man. Wow, man. That just blew me out. All right. And the fruits shall remain. And that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, it will be given to you. Let you know you can do nothing of yourself. Didn't John say in the same chapter 50, you can do nothing of yourself? I was telling everyone, even though the pandemic we wasn't able to get together, it was a straightening time. Sister Harris said it this morning. You were supposed to grow doing it. You were supposed to have time to read. He set you down, so hey, you can't be out there with the cat. You can't do nothing but hear me. All right. Yeah, yeah. You can't do nothing. You can't go nowhere. You can't do nothing. Thank you, Lord. Read your Bible. Right. And when it's time to let you go out, you're going to be on fire. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Every thing that happens. Everything that happened to me, God did it. God did it. God did it. God did it. I'm not suffering from PSD like this. I'm fine. Because he said he keep you in perfect peace. Who oh, mine is stayed on him. He'll keep you in perfect peace. I listen to some of the saints and I'll be saying, what's wrong? I'm happy. I got teeth that can't hide. I smile all the time. Yeah. I don't like to be around. Uh -huh. I don't like to be Well, I'll take you. Well, I ain't gonna be sad. Right. I'm supposed to be happy. That's right. yeah. With that song you were singing, with that other boy was singing, I'm happy. Yeah. Smile. Yeah. What that other boy said, just smile. Let folk know you're happy. Yeah. Let the devil know. Yeah. Jesus said if I was hungry, I wouldn't tell you. Yeah. 
We up here telling folk about all that. Ain't that about to do about house, I'm about to. And you're telling folk that instead of going to Jesus, who know, and you just told God, it's just like my children. If Henry go to Elder Vines for advice and ask him, I want to bust him in the head. All right. I'm your daddy. That's right. Nobody come up in some of these yes <laughs> You know, you know what I'm saying. They got a big out. They go to Sister Harrison before they call me. Disrespect me a lot. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, a respect. I will never come in here and do something or chastise you in your house. Your kids, that's your kids, that's your wife. You ain't in my head. You ain't in since the Harris kid. Right. <laughs> I'm just old school, y'all. Right. 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 It's true, though. Yeah, no. It's true. It's true. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. I know I wasn't born at this time. I'm not a millennial, y'all. You know what I'm And don't want to be. Yes, beloved, let me finish. Jeremiah wanted to out before I found thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou came out from the womb, I sanctified thee. Yes, Lord. I cleaned you. You got dirty. You went out there. But I sanctified thee. Because he, he knew Jeremiah was going to be the weeping prophet. He had to prophesy against wrongdoing of Israel. All right. Wait a minute. You can't preach and teach. Folk, when you're not doing it yourself. Amen. You can't be a light. Right. Amen. Let your light so shine that men may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. I just came to teach you a little bit and share with you what holiness is all about. This is a holy church. Amen. This is a sanctified church. Yes. Hand clapping, yes. foot stomping. But before we go to shouting, let's make sure I'm calling. Make our calling and election sure. 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 Jeremiah right. says just like fire. Yeah. He said, I don't wait a minute. I'll give you what to say at that at that time. Don't worry, he told the disciples. I'll give you what to say at that very hour. Give the Lord a hand praise. You know why? You have a mission. You're on a mission. I've been in the military. I know what all that is about. I'm a soldier. Yeah. And all, I was an Uncle Sam soldier. <laughs> and I did what they did. I thought I was not, but they broke me. Right. All the time I spent this like, uh, that kid, when I came out, that little street boy, uh -huh. that little tough boy, had me, yes sir. All right. But Private Harris, Private Harris reported for duty. God know how to break you. <laughs> I went there and told him they wasn't cut me because I had like long hair. Down my shoulders. <laughs> it's I told him, no, I ain't cut my head. <laughs> How stupid was that? Everybody get a haircut, you can walk up there and say, I ain't get my head. Don't fight God. Your arms are too sharp. Romans 8 30, more of a he did predestinate them he also called. Uh -huh. Here is the people of God. Whom he called is them he also justifies. Uh -huh. And whom he justifies he glorifies. So God has put in you, before I leave you, before he has put in you what you need. 
He put in you what you need. He qualified you. I didn't say that. So don't look down on yourself and say, hey, I can't do that. I shouldn't be this. Everybody, wait a minute. I done went down south, ran by, and people calling up and see and heal and deliver. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to say, you say, I can't preach, I can't preach. No. But I know the book, and I know I'm saying. All right, all right. Paul said, I didn't come with them. He said, I didn't come with intelligent words, but I came with demonstrations of the Spirit. Yes, so if you let the Spirit move and you yes, resolve it, you will see how the Word affected you today. Yeah. And God gave you something to help you. Because I'm talking to somebody. I will not send my word out and will not return unto me void. So I know what I'm talking about. If you receive it, let it in your heart, you will see what it do. But if you have a stony heart and you don't want to hear the truth, and you let the devil choke it out of you, you know it's for you. And y'all they come up in our church. Yeah, some of y'all too young, they call you out. Because the Bible said, rebuke them. That the other folk would. So y'all, some of y'all could have never made it. Not in that church. It was holiness or hell. You got it every day. They put it, like Peter said, put them in remembrance. Because you're going to forget he said, how can you escape if you neglect so great a salvation? You saved. You got an answer. Got to go for the judge. Boy, I went for judges and Lord had mercy. But God, this judge is going to determine where I live for eternity. My works is going to speak for me. So, take an inventory. Uh -huh. yes, Jeremiah 20, 20. I said I will make not mention of him, nor speak a more in his name. Uh -huh. But the word was in my heart like a burning, wait a minute, burning fire. Yes, Shut up! In my mouth. Yes, we used to say, if you got the Holy Ghost, you didn't see nothing, you didn't hear nothing. If you didn't say nothing, you ain't got nothing. Ain't got that. That's right. You got the car running, baby? You got to get out of trip now. Wait a minute. I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. God, sometimes, even at night, he chastised Hebrews, the book of Hebrews, I chastised them that I love. If they do not endure chastisement, I treat them as bastards and not so. I'm so that's the book, sir. That's yeah, the Bible. Yeah. Okay, that's that's not, I, didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay? The if the book is in the book, I can say it. Yes. All right. All right, man. That's right. Let me give you some thoughts on this scripture. We go home and read it. The angel of the Lord appeared unto him to a fire in the midst of a bush, and he looked. I see some folk, my wife will tell you, I'll notice a piece of what you call on the ground. Because I pay attention. I tell her all the time, I'm just the street like that. Right. Let me go out there. All right. Go out there if you want. Right. But let me open the door. Uh -huh. I sit, I always sit where I can see the door. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I watch it out for her. I know this who around me. All right. Amen. I know there's something called in there. I know there's a new face. All right. I ain't never seen them before. Uh -huh. Keep my eye on them. I know that cop police. I know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> Might be somebody out there after me. I don't know. I'm watching him. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look. Right. Pay attention. Amen. Don't be slow. Keep your eyes open. Yes. Watch as well as pray. Right. I'm praying, but I'm still watching. That's right. Don't be at ease in Zion. Ain't that the book? 
He looked and behold a bush burnt. <laughs> Wait a minute. The bush, God does things in your life to get your attention. He knew that would get his attention. Wait a minute. This ain't this ain't normal. God does some incredible things that will blow your mind. <laughs> Did you get that? Some things is happening for you to get your attention. Some people gotta put in the hospital to get their attention. Is it called right here? He got to put you on your back. Because I tried to talk to you when you're standing up and everything was going right. Now you got tools in you. Now I can talk to you. Don't let it be. He got to do. Because he's going to get your attention. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen to this. The fire was not consumed. The bush was not consumed. Anything God is in cannot be consumed. All right. It's going to last. Right. Yes. It's gone. My God. That's what only God. That was the representation of God. Right. That was an illustration for him to know that, hey, I'm God. Right. I can do what I want. I can do what I want with you. I can make anything happen. Look at somebody say, who can make a bush but God. But God. See, I guess the Lord said that then, that God will be gone. Now, what, 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 uh, after that got his attention, now God can talk to him. That's Look at right. the steps. That's right. Look what he got to do, get your attention. Because right. guess what? You ever seen a child not listening? Mm -hmm. In school, you're not paying attention? You're not going to get it. Amen. You missed it. All you children start listening in school. Y'all don't have to like me, but I'm telling you, pay attention. Yeah. Pay attention to that teacher. That's how you're going to learn. I dare you have your mom and daddy send you and all this. Pay attention so you can learn something. That's right. Yeah. We need to pay attention to God. We need to pay, pay attention how the spirit is moving. Go ahead. Listen to it. Moses said, I will now turn aside to see the great sight while the bush is not burning. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush. God can speak to you through some trials and tribulations. He can Amen. speak to you through some things you never thought. I don't hear nobody. Amen. He's still speaking. The Lord of Israel never sleep or slumber. If I make my bed in hell, he's oh, yeah. oh, what an awesome God. What an awesome, when you get in God, and you begin to see how he took you and changed you. Oh, my goodness. And, oh, I'm glad I'm saved. Oh, my goodness. That's why they kept me on altar for almost 12 hours. <laughs> There's a lot of demons to get out of me. <laughs> I wouldn't go nowhere. Three lit, three feet. Everybody left. They tear with me 12 hours. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> they say all kinds all kind of demons are coming out. Amen. All right. but thank God. Thank God. I'm telling you right now, you can save you. I'm saying right now he can deliver you. I'm not just here to tell you something. I was ordained to tell my story in the way God told me to tell it. You don't have to receive it, but he sees everything. He is not, he does not do anything in his word when I say again when I return unto him, boy. He has a purpose for you. And if you don't get the job done, you ain't gonna get paid. Amen. Every job I have in my contracts, the payment is complete upon completion of the work. You better work now. Whoever, he said, I am God, thy father. Look what he tells him, I'm your daddy. <laughs> the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Moses, and Moses hid his face. It humbled him. When God speaks to you and tells you 
They tell you things about you. I saw you. You ever heard Sister Harrison tell you because the Lord uses her a lot in that way. People come up to you and you've never seen them and they say something to you. <laughs> I have never had it done to me. I've done it to people. How did you know? I don't know. I don't care. I have to say what the Lord told me to tell you. <laughs>
Satan don't have cats there. Torment you night and day. Didn't he say about torment you night and day? They don't take baths down there. They stay down there. Satan don't torment you night and day. He already mad because he did. Everybody gonna be in heaven having a good time with Jesus and you stuck down there. Wait a minute. You gonna compare the things God has said for you to this? If you've been there to God, been through hell already, well, why would you want to go back? All right. All right. <laughs> I'm say, Mama, I'd be crazy, huh? What is this for, huh? <laughs> what kind of, what they all? Tell me what they all. <laughs> Everybody here supposed to be straight now. We ain't on alcohol. We're not drunk no more. We ain't got stuff in our veins. We sober. He said, be sober, man. That go too long, man. God is good. Yes, all the time. I just want to encourage you. That's all I wanted to do. Is to tell you what he's I'm, I'm here to reinforce to tell what you can become victory tabernacle. You are the stars here. You are the people that represent him and your church. I don't hear nobody. You're not a whip behind. All you got to do is, I tell people now, this preacher, I don't know how old he is. Y'all hear me when I say this. I'm serious about this. The vision is for a point in time. I should have been preaching. But I wanted to serve and I thought that that person, when God tell you to move, I'm so glad you started young. It's for a point in time. And guess what? Much is given. Oh, praise lady. I don't know you look, you look a little young to me, but much is given. Remember the Lord. Y'all got to help me because I'll be all day calling scriptures. <laughs> Remember the Lord in the days of you.